Hey guys, welcome back. Just carve Rob. Here we are, still in Michigan, still cold. Sun shining though, but brrr. Even with that sunshine, it's still cold. It's still like uh, 41 degrees, I think it was. So look, we got it all burnt in. And today, uh, we'll be working on our pheasant. But, guess what? The Amazon truck came today. <laughs> the Amazon truck. We love Amazon. And what did he bring us? Whoop. He bought us Mas a Micro Pro by MasterCard, high performance tool. Let's open it and see what we got, shall we? Okay, uh, yep, need knife. Okay. All right, guys, let's see what we got here. It says the, uh, it weighs four pounds, is what the box says. All right, now we got a piece of cardboard. Did not know MasterCard made knives and chisels. Oh, well, you got the Master Carver uh, wood burner too there, huh? What do we got here? Oh, this is our hand piece. Let's see. Let's get it out of the bag. All right. Looks like that's the collet lock right there. Looks like they got a, a pin. Pin. Um... Looks like eighth inch. Looks like this is the eighth inch, and then it looks like it has a another collet that slides inside the eighth inch for three thirty seconds. Okay, so that's cool. Quarter turn. She's locked up. It's our plug. That's what the hand piece looks like. Okay, 46,000 RPMs max. All right, let's set this to the side. And this must be the motor part or the, the computer drive part. And it looks like it's got a spot for a foot pedal, but we didn't get the foot pedal. It's got forward and reverse, on and off, speed control. Okay, let's move our box out of the way. Let's see. Oh, we got a bag. What's in the bag? Bag of stuff. All right. Looks like uh, brushes. Brushes for the hand piece. Give you a spare set. Okay. This looks like the... Okay, you put your hand your hand piece in there. You can put it on either side by the looks of it. Okay. So we got to we got to put these brushes someplace <clears throat> that we don't lose them. What else we got here? Oh. Some kind of molded rubber hooligan. I'm guessing, yep, hand piece can go on that or you can put it in this little holder deal. Okay, where do you plug this thing in at? Over here on the side, it's a three pin. It must have different options because there are many pin holes, but only three of them in the hand piece. Okay, come on, Rob, figure it out, man. All right, there, like that. All right, our cord, get the rest of this packaging stuff out of here.
Always keep your box for a couple of weeks, guys, in case you got to ship it back. Something goes wrong with it. Throw that up there. All right. So, microcarver. All right. Get our cord undone here. Plug it in. Okay. Turn it on. Wow, that's pretty quiet. See how slow you can make, man, you can crawl that right down to nothing, can't you? All right, turn that off. They should give you a place to put this little collet. I wonder. We can put it in one of these. Got a couple little burr holders up there, but looks like a couple for eighth inch and a couple for the three thirty seconds. Okay, we can stick that right in there so we don't lose it. So we'll leave the collet or three thirty seconds collet right up there. Okay, I like that holster on the side. That's what I'm going to call it, guys, is a holster. See? The good, the bad, and the Clint Eastwood movie. Go ahead, punk. Make my day. All right. And we got this one here that you could set it on. I think, I don't even know if I'll use this, but... We'll set it off to the side, and then if we need it, we got it, right? I kind of like the holster deal. All right, so let's put that off to the side. Who wants to see this thing in action? Anybody? Nah, nobody wants to see it in action? All right, well, I guess I'll play with it later then. Yeah, nobody wants to see it. Nobody wants to see what it does, so... Uh, we'll take these little bushings, bush brushes, brush brushes. We'll take these little brushes and we'll we'll put them in our toolbox over here. Hopefully we remember. No, I got the perfect place. I'll put them in my cabinet with my other supplies and hang them. I got a little pegboard thing. I just hang them up and then I'll always be able to see them, right? Little pegboard thing, guys. Poke a hole through the bag and hang them up there. Then we know where they is at all times. All right. So, has anybody changed their mind? They want to see this thing carve? No, nobody wants to change their mind. Oh, what do we have? We can mess with. Should have some. Some wood right laying around here someplace. Okay, hey, yeah. We got this little piece of basswood here. Okay, uh, let's put, see how much juice this thing's got here. Let's put this uh, taper burr from Flex Cut in here. We're going to do the same thing with this that we do with our Dremel. We'll push it all the way in and then pull it out of here. Okay. See, it's locked in there. Turn the power on. Okay. Let's see. Wow. Holy mackerel.
full cut. Wow, look at that, guys. That's at the full 46,000 RPMs right there. Turn her down to half speed. Okay, well, I can tell you this much. The speed may have uh, dropped. But look at that. I'm pushing on this thing, guys. And, uh, yeah, the, the torque is there. Woo! Look at that. Look at that. Look at that mess it's making. Okay, crank it back up. Very smooth. You know, I hate to say it, but uh, I think with one of these, I don't even think you need a freaking Dremel. I don't even think you're going to need a Dremel anymore, guys. Maybe for, uh, I don't know, maybe for the bigger cuts all burrs, maybe. But uh, I'm telling you, this thing is smooth. Let's see. We'll go to that bigger, the bigger cut saw burr there. Push it in. Pull it out a little. Lock it up. Turn it on. Kick her in the teeth and crank her all the way up. Let's see. This is the, now this is probably one of the biggest burrs that you'll use. This is Cuts All Extreme. Wow. 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 What else can I say about that? Awesome. Um, this is nothing like that freaking Dremel stylo hunk of crap. Uh, yeah, this has got all the all the juice right here, guys. Look at that. We just ripped that up. Using our our flex cut bits, so yeah, that is that is something else. Wow, I'm impressed. Color me impressed. Look at all this sawdust we just made here. So. I would say for 200 bucks, that's what I paid for this one from, uh, was it eBay? I think it was eBay. Um, no. 
This came from Amazon because Amazon dropped it off, so it's Amazon. Okay, I got this from Amazon for it was uh, on sale for $199. You have to look for it because they have the same one at uh, $240. So you got to go through. You got to keep going. Don't stop at the first one. Uh, this was $199.99, so $200, bucks, uh, free shipping. So, with tax and everything, it cost me $212.46, I think. And Michigan has 6% sales tax, so. All right. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm impressed with that. Really impressed. I didn't think it would be that powerful. But, uh. I mean, it's not as fancy as the RAM. It don't have a digital readout or anything, but sometimes less is more. Less things to go wrong, I guess. So, there's my unboxing video. Of the Master Carve Micro Pro. Uh, that's the other thing. Make sure it's the Micro Pro because they have ones that have less RPMs in them. And uh, they're no less on the money, though. They're just less RPMs. I think they're like 35,000 RPMs, some of them. So make sure it's the Micro Pro, the Ma uh, MasterCard Micro Pro. And always look at the descript description, guys. This is the 40 th 46,000 RPM one, okay? 46,000 RPMs. Our Dremels run at 35,000 RPMs. And I can tell you, I've used Dremels a lot. And this thing, much smoother. Much smoother. And you're not fighting this. So, yeah, I could see why uh, Ben over there at Studio on the Lake doesn't have a Dremel. He has two of these. Uh, well, not these. He has a different, different brand of uh, micro carvers and he carves the crap out of stuff with them two micro carvers okay so there it is guys unboxing video hey we'll be we'll be back to work on the pheasant we're gonna give this guy a try on it see how much if we, how much we like this uh, for carving our feathers and stuff um, usually that kind of stuff I'll do with a knife or my SCM. Okay. Um, uh, which I still may do because I don't think I have fine enough burrs for this guy to get in there. Uh, I never see this replacing the SCM though, because the SCM high speed air tool, high speed carving tool is, uh, if this is like coven cut and butter. That's like cutting snow. I mean, it just... So, yeah. I, I can see this replacing my Dremels, though. You know? Probably not, because... Just because I can load three bits now. Three different cutters. I can put... I can put, like, a Cutsaw in this guy, and a Diamond in this guy, and something else in that guy. And I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, but, uh, for the next, uh, 30 days, I think I got to return this. So for the next 15, 20 days, we are going to be working the tar hoodies out of this thing to see how it's going to hold up. So that's my theory. When you get a new tool and it's still under warranty, use it, use it, use it, use it. Because if it's going to break, you want it to break during that warranty period. That's my theory. Because uh, if you don't use it and it sits around, and in a month you go to use it and it breaks, guess what? Now you got no, you're just stuck with a broke tool. But uh, from what I've read online about MasterCard, they're supposed to be a good company. They're supposed to be good to work with. And it's supposed to be a good tool. So... All that being said, and me running my mouth, we've ran our time up. So, hey, guys, share, subscribe, and like. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. 
and we will catch you guys on the next one. Just Carve Rob saying, Just Carve. Share, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want a notification when the next video is coming up. And we will catch you guys on the next one. All right? Bye.